X-Ray 204 Ground Control. And in this video, we're going to touch bases real quick on Stray RF and ways to eliminate it. Now, a lot of people might not know what Stray RF is. A lot of people may know what Stray RF is. Hopefully, if you're in this hobby and you've been in it for a while, you know what the hell you're talking about. You know what the hell I'm talking about. But Stray RF can be power that is generated through your system that doesn't get out to the antenna and up in the sky, okay? That is power that's traveling back down your your coax line into your house and back in through your equipment, which could be radios, amps, meters, and anything else that's, a, that's, that's around your equipment, such as laptop speakers, computer speakers, TVs and whatnot. And this hobby, Stray RF, is not your friend. But also in this hobby, the coaxial choke, a foot below the antenna, is the most popular. I don't know how the hell that is, man, because a coaxial choke up at the antenna is the least effective choke for eliminating stray rf and if you don't know what a, a coaxial choke is it's when people take their excess coax and wrap it around uh three to eight times in a diameter of six to twelve inches at the bottom feed point of their antenna okay and i know many of y'all seen this done i know many of you guys are probably doing it now but i tell you this okay it is the least effective choke there is research it look it up and you'll find that i am telling you the exact truth there's no bs not not gonna shoot no smoke your way so I've come to find out through research that the W2DU, which is Whiskey 2 Delta Union choke, uh, I believe was experimented with the ham radio operator and he put it all out on the wire and certain people have picked up on it. Certain people haven't. Um, all right, but let's get into it. All right, so let's say... Your coax is connected to your radio. Here's your radio. Here's your amp. Okay? Here's your choke. Okay? Now, we're going to talk about ferrite cores. See if I can get it open. This one's a snap one. And, you know, they come in solid construction, too, which is not two halves. It's just one whole core. This is Mix 43, which is... Uh, the most optimum core to use in 27 megahertz. Mix 43. Okay, but what you do with your snap on is put it on the out end of the co uh, of the jumper or coax. Okay, radio in, power transmitted, amp or antenna out. Okay, so it's Key radio up, transmit power, the choke acts as an impedance uh, piece, okay? It impedes any stray RF or power coming back down into your line, going into your radio, which eventually can destroy your radio. Uh, they can, the stray RF can come back in your amps, it can come back in your meters, and eventually destroy your equipment. Stray RF is not your friend, guys. Not in this hobby, never will be, never has been. Okay? <clears throat> now, you can use up to two, three, and sometimes four ferrite beads. Okay? Or ferrite cores. Let's just say that. Um, as for... Uh, as for low power and short lines, short jumpers and, you know, stuff like that, I do not recommend them. Um, there's just not enough power being generated in a 44 on a six foot jumper to get much loss. You're not going to find much loss there. 
okay? But, you know, if it suits you, you can put one, okay, right there. You can put one right here. It comes into the amp, okay? <clears throat> now, me personally, I took this choke off of here, okay? Now, the amp generates a lot of power, and I'm using a six-foot jumper here. It comes up, goes right into my uh, meter. Now, I have another meter in line as well, which is the dozy. Now, once the three-foot jumper comes from the meter here and goes into the dozy, as you can see, that input line, okay, that input jumper has another RF choke on it. This is helping you impede any stray RF coming back down the line, okay? That choke is helping this line, and the choke here is helping this line from the amp. Um, also, the coax comes out of this meter and goes out the window. Right outside the window is another RF choke. I don't want nothing coming back down here, okay? Nothing at all. I don't want nothing coming back down here. Now, as you go up to the antenna, I have a center-fed dipole, okay? It's an aluminum dipole, a solid-constructed dipole, and it is center-fed, okay? That means the feed line connector is in the middle of the antenna, and it's flat. We have a flat antenna, a horizontal antenna, okay? A foot below that, I have three RF chokes of Mix 43. Like I say, Mix 43 is... Uh, what you want dealing with 27 megahertz, okay? Um, now, when you're dealing with the coaxial chokes, the guys wind up the coax, you know, and then connect it to the antenna, and they think they're doing something. They're not doing shit. <laughs> Excuse my French, but it's the bare minimum. And in this hobby, we all know we don't want the bare minimum. So, um... You can also use these ferrite cores on AC lines and DC lines. I have a switching power supply here. She generates some noise, man. And I tell you what, these ferrite, these ferrite cores helped out a lot. I have another switching power supply here, which powers up the radio. If you can see in there, right there, she's wrapped up. Right there with a ferrite core power cable from power supply to radio wrapped up twice up oh, excuse me three times wrapped up three times to a ferrite core all right here's my mic into the compressor ferrite core remember you don't want nothing coming back down the line causes squeal um, causes feedback and some people will talk in the microphone I uh, know some people who have experienced this. I've experienced this. You get over here and you get to talking and your lip touches the mic and, and, you, and you think you get shocked. You're like, oh, I just got shocked. That's an RF burn caused by stray RF back down into your system. Um, I use headphones. <clears throat> I have one wrapped twice here for my headphones. Um, from the, let's get back on track, from the CPI compressor. Okay. Here's the out, and it's about to come into the radio. There's another ferrite core right there. Now, I have experienced uh, solid cores and snap-ons, and there's no difference. Some people would think since the, you know, the, the, the ferrite is cut in half and there's two halves, and when you close it, there's going to be an issue there. No issue. Same thing. And, it, you know, if you don't like snap-ons... <clears throat> And you make your own coax connectors. Um, this is RG8, made by Tramflex. Um, and this is LMR240 Ultraflex. Yes, sir, made by Times Microwave. Okay. Now, before you side your stuff up, Get you a solid core ferrite if that's what you prefer and slip it on the coax. Use some heat shrink and cover it up, heat it up, and she's weatherproofed. And this is the most effective way and still the cheapest way of eliminating some RF from coming back down into your shack, destroying your equipment, causing feedback, 
causing a uh, lip burn from your microphone, uh, getting over your computer speakers, TV speakers, whatever the case may be. Remember, Mix 43.